be done. I'm not gonna have a. All right, here we go. Part two. Let's. Sorry about that, folks. Let's fix these restrictions again, and then we'll talk about the rest of this example before we move forwards. The restrictions should have been written as negative two over three and one if we write them in order. So writing them in order allows us to do the following. So let's go again. So restrictions were normally one and negative two over three and I showed you how that came about. So what we would normally do is cancel. That's right, cancel because we can cancel because we have a license to cancel. And that will leave us 2x plus 1 in the numerator and 2 times x minus 1 in the denominator. Now, some people think that we can cancel these 2's. You cannot cancel these 2's because you have to cancel the entire thing or nothing at all. So 2x plus 1, you cannot cancel the 2's. Not at all, folks. It has to be all or nothing. So very, very important. So even if the question looked like this, where it was, they were exactly looking like this, those two could not cancel either. So it's very important that you remember that. Okay? You cannot cancel unless they are exactly the same on the top and the bottom, just like this set of brackets here. Okay, moving forwards. Part D. Let's look at another problem, a little more complicated here. We need to factor this. So what are our restrictions? We write out the license and we determine the restrictions. We're not going to use, de well, we'll show you decomposition, but I'm not going to go through and explain it with you. I'm just going to show it to you. And I'm going to have you, if you need decomposition, you're more than welcome to use it. It's just not a method that I recommend because it really is slow and it can really uh, give you very little time to be able to complete some of the questions that you're given on any test or quiz. So it's important that your assessments that you take, you are very efficient at factoring. So we're going to try and factor this without looking at the sides here. So 25x squared plus 10x minus 8. What does that mean? Well, we need a product of negative 200 and a sum of 10. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 200 and add to give you 10? Well, we need uh, 20 and negative 10. So we need to be able to get the number 20 from the, f from the first and the last number. So... We get 5x from the front, and we want 20. Where are we going to get the 20 from? Look here. We have 5x times 4. I got the 4 from over here, from the minus 8. 5x times 4 gives us 20x. Now, to get our negative 10, we need 5x times negative 2. So the idea is that we break up 25x squared to its, to its factors and negative 8 to its factors and find out what combinations will give us our factors. Now, another thing to note is that whatever goes on top, folks, there must be something that cancels with the bottom. But before we cancel with the bottom, note that the bottom has a common factor. So we need to take out that common factor first. Once we do that, we can see that this bottom must have one of these two as its factors. Which one of these two will be the factors for the bottom? Hopefully, you're seeing that, oh yeah, 5x minus 2 must fit inside here. So, it's the only possibility because there's no way I could have a 4 as the last number when my last number here is a negative 6. So I'm going to take 5x minus 2 on the bottom, and well, don't forget the common factor of 2, and now I'm going to figure out what the other one is. Well, 5x squared, and for 5x times what gives you 5x squared? Hopefully, you're thinking it x. Next, negative 2 times what gives us negative 6? That's right, positive 3. 
So now we have figured out the factors of both the numerator and the denominator and find out that 5x minus 2, oh, before we do that, we can see now the um, restrictions. What is our license to rest restrict? Our license is, well, let's see, x cannot equal negative 3 and x cannot equal 2 over 5. Those are our, that's our license to cancel. Once we've written out the license, we can now cancel 5x minus 2, and we're left with 5x plus 4 on top, and on the bottom, 2 times x plus 3. All right. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. That's it for your lesson today. Thanks again. Take care. Have an miracle day.